I live in Kenora here. For me, I just like doing everything on my own. But it's really hard. It's like carrying a really big heavy bag, but you're not wearing anything there. Eh? I got in a little bit of trouble um, with the law, and uh, they made it part of my uh, undertaking to come see CMHA. I'm from the Satchuan, what some people know as dolls, and some people know as Ochichok with Bob and Going Ning. I got sick when I was 16, and I had a manic episode. And uh, I had another one again when I was 18, so I was diagnosed with bipolar. I'm 27 right now, living at the house, and things are good. I needed help. And I'd had a couple of episodes before that where I didn't reach out for the help, and that didn't work. When I was at my lowest point two years ago, there was no delineation between work and home and joy and sorrow. In my case, I went right through to the point of blacking out and would wake up days later. I have really bad anxieties. CMHA is very unique in its approach to mental health service delivery within the community of Kenora and surrounding area because our mission statement indicates that we're responsive in our delivery of services. So what that means is if you walk through the door, you will be receiving some type of service. And if we're unable to provide that service, we ensure to link you to the appropriate services. We're basically trying to keep people in the community. Uh, we assist them through treatment support and recovery. And we're very client-centered. Um, all of our clients have very individualized treatment plans or recovery plans. Generally, when people come to counseling, they are willing to make a change in their lives. CMHA offers a lot of different programs, and a lot of times clients are involved in not just one of our programs, but all of them. I think we're one of the few agencies that doesn't have a waiting list. The wait time might be a little long, but we don't have a waiting list. They've helped me with finding housing, my caseworker Derek even went and got clothes for me and my medication when I had no other way to do it. It was just the fact that I had been in and out and nobody ever seemed to fix the problem. They never gave me the tools, which is one of the biggest things that I got from here. Myself along with the other two counselors have a lot of clients on our caseload. Uh, last year alone, we serviced over 700 individuals um, here locally at our branch. We really are lacking in the supports on ground with individuals to help them be successful in their homes. We, we know that there is a huge need for support within housing in this community and in order to be successful there has to be the wraparound services to support that. Once we continue to get the word out about our services, the need will grow even more. Even at the place I'm at right now, most of those guys would be on the street. Um, I, think, I think that uh, what we do as an agency is, I think we, we run a very good agency, and I think that our means are to help people and help individuals get better. They've done so much for me, um, I don't even know what I would have done without them. I'm just happy to have somewhere to go at night. When you get home and real life hits, you have to be able to think for yourself, and that's where the ACT team comes in. And she's given me a specific set of strategies to, to deal with it, so I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm also, you know, want to see how it works. And just knowing that I'm safe and I'm cared for, and it, it really helps a lot. It was awesome. I felt free. I just think our society doesn't understand mental illness very well and that it is treatable. So it's really rewarding to see um, how amazing these clients are that come in here. I just wanted to share one, one uh, thing if I could, and that's what a, a musician elder said one time. What would hurt say if hurt should speak? And hurt would say enough, enough. To me, you know, there's a lot of suffering going on out there. If, Heard could speak. I think that's, they'd say we've had enough pain. Let's see if we can find a, a happier way, more reliably happy way to coexist and live.